What's up everybody, my name's Chance and today we're going to be playing some Selesnya Night Pack Ambusher Wolves. That is a mouthful, which is why I shortened it to just Night Pack Wolves. Um, so yeah, call it what you will, um, be it as it may. This is the deck that we're playing today, oh snap. No, anyways, uh, so I liked the wolves before M20 dropped, right? I liked Arlen, I liked Tulsimir. But it was very, very lacking, right? You didn't really have enough wolf cards. And let's be real, Arlen, not really good enough to be considered a playable wolf card, right? Tulsimir 100% is. Tulsimir is a bomb. Um, but Arlen is like, she's too slow. Really, that's just it. Her ability would be fun in the wolf tribal, you know? If uh, she costs like maybe four mana, but then again, if she costs four mana, um, the wolf synergy might be a little busted. So we're gonna we're gonna be playing a wolf deck, a core set 2020 uh, wolf deck, because I have been I have been waiting for this since I've seen these cards, right? Since I first saw the M20 spoilers and I saw we were getting more wolves, I've been super excited to dive into them. So before we hop into the deck tech or deck breakdown, I would like to remind everybody if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below and a comment in the comment section if you have any suggestions on this deck, future decks, or past decks. Furthermore, if you're new here, consider subscribing, it is free and we try to have fun here on the channel. Um, speaking of which, this deck is a fun deck. Now can you turn it into a competitive deck? 100%. 100%. Um, it does mean moving away from the whole wolf tribal synergy a little bit, but uh, that's okay. But realistically, can you play Nat Night Pack Ambusher plus Tulsimir in a Selesnya deck and rank with it? Yeah, 100%. Arkbow, very playable card. Knot of Autumn, very versatile, very playable card. But like, literally since this card has dropped, it's, I feel like at least, its value has only increased. Being able to make this creature bigger, fantastic. Just in case, right? Just in case you're up against those control decks and you just need to smash face. Being able to destroy a target artifact or enchantment, fantastic. And gaining four life, you know, come at me, aggro decks. Come at me. So, Knot of Autumn, if you want to make this deck a bit more um, competitive, I suppose, cut out the ferocious pups because, let's be real, even though the art is really, really awesome, um, it's not that great of a card. And throw in some more Knot of Autumns. Um, Tulsimir, or not Tulsimir, I'm sorry. Uh, Tulsimir, you stay there. Arlen, I would also cut, and probably just throw in two more copies of Nisa, because honestly, Nisa is a game winner all all in herself. Um, so yeah, honestly, that that's all I would do. Um, the reason Tristani's in here, two, two part. One, uh, makes all your wolves bigger, which means whenever Tulsimir makes your wolves attack, they're even bigger, right? Pretty, pretty simple math there. Furthermore, I've been seeing so, so many steal your decks deck Steal your deck decks. I'm sorry, I said that backwards. Um, and I, it's because of the, what is it, Agent of Treachery or something like that just came out. The 7 drop, where it deals something with stealing your opponent's permanents. Anyways, I've been seeing a ton of them, so Tristani is just like a, a nice little fuck you, right? Because at the end of your turn, you're going to regain control of all the units that they may have. Uh, is it Creatures? Each player gains control of all creatures. Mm, okay. So I haven't actually had a problem with like Trasani not taking Planeswalkers back, so I had to check and see. But it is only cre creatures, so if you're playing a Steal Your Deck deck, maybe don't steal creatures, only steal Planeswalkers. Nonetheless, I've gotten so far off topic. Um, what I was going to say is we've been partnered with TCGplayer.com, so anybody looking to help support the channel can go over there, use the promo code the new Doctor Spilligan, and all of your purchases will help go towards the channel. Now, we can hop into the deck tech or deck breakdown and uh, I can actually continue on with this thought of, you know, how to cut the deck down and make it a little bit more competitive. And I've thought about actually doing that more in the future because I realized that, hey, not everybody that comes to the channel is here just for funness, you know? Some of y'all like to see different fun decks that you can then turn into a competitive deck, which is also still different if that makes sense. Because I get that a lot of the times I come up with original ideas, maybe not here, because this idea is just sort of like, you know, smack you in the face, right? Um, but I know sometimes I come up with original ideas, and I know we have some competitive, some, I'm sorry, I cannot talk today. Um, I know we have some competitive people here on the channel, so I'm going to be trying to give more tips and pointers on like, hey, if you want to play this deck, but you want to play a serious version, try doing this. 
All that aside, um, into the deck tech or deck breakdown, Llanowar Arboreal gonna help you ramp, crawl, hello, it's a Flyers heavy meta right now, be prepared for Azorius Flyers. Alrighty, Vivian's Arcbow, four of, um, pretty self-explanatory, right? It allows us to cra crast, <laughs> to cast down creatures on our turn or our opponent's turn, um, which is fantastic for Night Pack Ambusher because it doesn't actually count as us casting a spell using the Vivian's Arcbow uh, ability, I suppose. So, fantastic in conjunction with the Ambusher and honestly just fantastic in like finding what you want, right? You pay six, you get a good chance of hitting at least two to three creatures, maybe, maybe two. Um, we do have 25 creatures, so possibly three. Um, but point is, you're, you're going to hit something and hopefully it will be almost of equal value to what you paid, right? Or maybe exactly equal value. Maybe you will, uh, you'll hit exactly what you need. Nonetheless, Vivian Champion of the Wild is also going to help with our Night Pack Ambusher as she's going to allow us to get down creatures on our opponent's turn so we don't have to spend the mana during our turn. However, we can still get the creature down and still get the proc off of Night Pack Ambusher. Um, furthermore, she draws us out creatures, gives us reach, and again, it's Flyer's meta, so, you know, all around, good, good, good. Not of Autumn, we've already talked about. Night Pack Ambusher, I feel like I've already talked about, but let's go ahead and explain fully what this card does. So, for four mana, you get a 4-4 four, four with Flash, and furthermore, other wolves and werewolves you control get plus one, plus one, so it's like a Lord effect with Flash. Already pretty decent. Furthermore, at the beginning of your end step, if you didn't cast a spell this turn, create a 2-2 two, two green wolf creature token. Now, some of you may be saying, well, that is a very strong Lord effect, that is a very strong Anthem, but to removal, it's it dies all the same into which I say yes you are you are correct oh another way you could probably make this deck a little bit more competitive is a way to actually save your night pack and your Tulsimir once they are on the field and that is by adding in God's willing so this card right here right target creature you control gains protection from the color of your choice until end of turn so this is fantastic against sweepers this is fantastic oh no wait doesn't work against sweepers. I don't. I don't know why I keep thinking that. Right. Um, doesn't work against uh, removal. Doesn't work against. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm getting all kinds of confused. It doesn't work against sweepers. It does work against removal of all other kinds. Goodness, chance. Get your shit together. So yeah, if you're looking for some protection for your units, by all means, throw in some God's willing. Moving us along, we have Cavalier of Dawn. Um, also, Night Pack is going to work fantastic with Tulsimir because every time Night Pack introduces a wolf to our board, Tulsimir is going to allow them to fight as well as gaining us health, which is just a crazy combo. Um, Cavalier of Dawn, it's it's some solid removal, to be completely honest. To target any non-land permanent, it's pretty solid. 4-6 with Vigilance. Returning an artifact or enchantment to hand, not that fantastic, but I mean... I guess we can bring back Vivian's Arcbow. What you could do, actually, if uh, if you really want to get the full effect off of uh, Cavalier of Dawn, maybe throw in a Wolf Rider's Saddle, or Wolfkin Bond is just a little bit too much. Um, yeah, I mean, either way. Throw in one of these two, and then Cavalier of Dawn will obviously be able to get back either the Wolf Rider's Saddle or Wolfkin Bond because they are artifacts and enchantments. So, Nisa, obviously, as I've already said, can win the game all on herself, and she helps us ramp. Just just a fantastic card. Tulsimir, the, uh, the big burly friend of wolves himself, I guess. Um, nonetheless, whenever he enters the battlefield, he's going to create a 3-3... Three, three, uh, green and white wolf creature token uh, and then furthermore whenever a wolf enters the battlefield they're gonna fight uh, a target creature our opponent controls and we're gonna gain three life so as I said night pack Tulsimir fantastic Tristani I've already explained and Arlen is in here because I enjoy her is she fantastic no um, but does she work in the wolf synergy well honestly no but <laughs> are we playing her yes is the answer because I want to go full-blown wolves right so let's go ahead and hop into a game one. Mad Hex, gonna be our first foe for the day. Rocking a Teferi avatar. <clears throat> we go first with a hand like this. Um, <laughs> probably shouldn't mulligan it to be completely honest, but that's okay. 
That is A's to the OKs. Let's get down our arc bow. And next turn we'll get down Ferocious Pup, which again, probably not the strongest wolf we would we would want to see in our opener hand. But, you know, you see the Ferocious, you see the Arlen, you, you got to get to thinking, maybe I can have fun this game. We'll see. We shall see. So there's Ferocious Pup, there's the 2-2 two -two wolfy mother, I guess. Um... Ancestral Blade. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, excuse me. My turn. That is a Lana Ward. So tell you what, we'll throw down those two. We're not going to hit for two because, well, I don't really want to waste that. And we'll just skip it back to him. So we're up to, what, five, six mana next turn? That is our Arlen, if we want her. Do we want her? I mean, ideally, you want, like, a Tulsimir down first. Or, I mean, even even a Night Pack Wolf is fine to have down. Because um, activating Arlen's ability obviously doesn't count for uh, for playing a spell either. Pass to attackers. Why don't you hit me with your best shot? Why don't you fire away? Okay, so. Dilemma, dilemma, dilemma. I just said I want a Tulsimir first, right? But if we play Tulsimir now, then the wolf doesn't get the counter. I guess it doesn't really matter, right? Let's go Tulsimir. And 3-3, three, three, let's... Let's kill their fibble tip. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> we do not want everyone to attack. That would be a dead land of war and a dead ferocious pup. So, no, no. You just stay back. Another fibble tip. Well, feels kinda awkward. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, next turn we'll be able to get down Arlen and summon up three threes that we can then use to fight and kill off their side of the board, given that Arlen sticks, right? We shall see. Oh, ha, ha. Sorry for all the yawns. Alrighty, my turn. Let's go, Arlen. Don't have a spell pierce. 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 Come on, Mad Hacks. Just tell me you don't have the spell pierce. Every fucking time, right? Every fucking time. You know what? Fuck you, Mad Hacks. Fuck you and your spell peers. Um, so what are we looking for? I mean we can arc bow next next turn, honestly. What kind of stupid deck are you playing, Mad Hacks? What kind of stupid janky Okay. Oh, that could be interesting. Right? Could be very, very interesting. Especially if they just choose their Colossus Hammer, then these two people get, uh, you know, plus 10, plus 10, then they have two 12 12s. That's not bad, but at the same time, it's not going to be enough. So let's go ahead and hit this for. Seven. Let's hit it for eight. Let's see. Let's let's take our pick of creatures that we want here. Do we see a night pack? That is what we're looking for. Yes. Yes, indeedily. Um. So give me that. 
and you kill her lovely lovely and you and you go there tell you what you too ferocious pup you get in on that action nice show that narset who's boss and now that we have that other wolf let's kill her just in case they were planning on that colossus hammer nonsense right <laughs> <laughs> Mad Hacks has seen enough. You know, I don't blame you, Mad Hacks. I don't blame you. This is a very awesome deck with some very, very awesome synergies. So, on to a game two with our uh, our Wolfies. Superhero gonna be our next uh, next foe. That was weird. It just showed me, I think, what was their card art. So we go first, then we have, uh, well, the Vivian lineup, so why not, right? Oh, you know what? I actually really, really like this card art. This Kiora plus the big ass. It looks like a manatee. It looks like a seal behind her, right? A big seal. Um... Uh, yeah. What are they holding back? An opt? An opteruno? An opta. opta. optics? Are they holding an optics? <laughs> they are indeed! Alright, so. Superhero. We can change our cat to green since we are playing a whole lot of green cards here. Let's see what they make us mill. Of course they make us mill a Nightpack Predator and a Tulsa Mirror. Yo, I actually fucking hate milling decks. Or decks that make you mill. Every time they mill me, it's not like, Oh sure, we'll mill you three lands. Or we'll mill you two lands and a ferocious pup. No, it's like, hey, we're about to fucking mill you your combo, right? Top three cards, we're going to mill you your combo, plus the mana to play it. So go fuck yourself. That's how I feel every time. I feel so violated. <sighs> Whatever. We'll we'll continue down this path of nonsense. Let's see what we can hit here. And then they troll me. You see what MTG had in store for me after that beautiful combo? Alright, let's get rid of the Guild Gate. Let's get down to Lanamore. And I guess let's skip it back to their turn. Since I couldn't get my awesome cards. You know how aw like it. You know how fantastic it would have been to have Night Pack and Vivian? The wombos of combos plus the Tulsimir? And there goes another goddamn Tulsimir. I'm telling you. Two Tulsimir in, in the top what, eighteen cards? Well I guess that's not ridiculous. That's that's really not ridiculous. Mm. Not gonna lie, about to have a little mini brain aneurysm from the lack of draws. So, what we can do here is pay five for Vivian's arc bow and then discard the arc bow, the one in our hand. Oh. <laughs> And a Sahili to make everything easier for us, of course, of course. I gotta say, this is a very strong mono blue deck, right? Anyone else noticing that mono blue has some annoying stuff? Maybe I'm just pissed because they, they exile two Tulsimirs and a Night Pack, right? That's my Wombo. Exile all the fucking land awards you want. There goes a Nisa and a Tristani. You know what's funny? In an actual game, when I'm like, alright, I just need a bomb, I just need a good card, right? It's like, you never find them. But it seems like every time your opponent mills you, it, it's like, alright, well, here's their uh, their top three cards. How about that? Does that work for a good mill for you? Maybe it's observation bias. Maybe that's not actually how the game works. Um, oh, that's a fun brick. Look down five and didn't see a single creature. 
Holy shiza. I am interested in playing the Nisa. Ooh. <laughs> but I'm more interested in playing the Night Pack Ambusher. Um. I think we still have to go Nisa here, and we'll worry about getting the the ambusher in later. Late here. And let's make our planes the the creature. Next, next. Um, we're in a whole lot of trouble here if they can continue this. But we do have the Nisa down, and we have the Night Pack ready to cast, right? Which is the the important thing there. Um, and we have a Nisa on the field, so as long as they don't just carry some simple, um, I don't know. Well, they are in mono blue, so they can't carry a simple, um, I don't know, removal spell. It has to be a bounce spell, or it has to be just overpowering us with servos, or something. <laughs> It's certainly an interesting deck, though. I'm certainly happy to to get to go up against you, superhero or superhero. Well, I guess we'll never know. I guess it is soup, our hero. Um, Cavalier of Night. Yeah, they've literally every time they've Ashiok me, they've hit a big card. It's not once just been a here's some throwaways. It's been a we're gonna take your top tier shit. <laughs> All right, cool. That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. My turn. Hey, 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 hey. It's Fat Albert. Y'all had to know that was coming. Don't don't act like you didn't. All right, so that's two down. I think we can get both of our not pack ambushers down, actually. So there's one, and here's one for our next turn, right? You can still walk away. Okay. We have to kill the Sahili. <laughs> Cannot stress that enough. Now they're gonna double block on one of my lands here. Okay. I don't I don't know. They should have double blocked on one of my lands there. Servo and uh, wizard to take out a forest is definitely worth it. Um, but to each their own, so we'll resolve that and resolve that. We're going to wait to play Night Pack to the end of their turn, right? My god, I love being milled. <laughs> there goes Arlen. Tulsimir, Tulsimir. <laughs> what did I fucking tell you? And look, I'll bet. I will bet we draw into it either an Arboreal Grazer or a fucking Llanowar Elf. After all this goddamn milling, seeing all these fucking fantastic cards. Oh, that was the first time they didn't hit something. That was it, right there. Planes and a Ferocious Pup. Literally every other time they've hit four or more mana cost cards. At least one or two of. Which is just insane, right? One... We would have fucking dicked on them had we drawn all of them. Two, it's insane that, like, when I need those cards, we never get them, but when we want them, we never see them. And, uh, again, part of that is observation biased, but part of that is literally just true and facts. <laughs> um, which some people will, like, like to argue with, but to those people, I say fuck off. Alright, going into my turn, let's get down the Night Pack Ambusher. We got two of them. Fantastic. A Boreal Grazer, get out of here. You're not getting played. I'm, I'm just going to tell you that right now. Um, so what we can do, actually, is tap this for two. Plus one on the Nisa. Bring this back up. 
Yeah, we can get a pretty big arc bow here, and I think that's what we want to do. So that's two, three, four, five, six. I don't want to go for seven, but I feel like six should be enough. Ah, oh, fuck it. What do we have to lose? Let's go for seven. Seven. And... A boreal grazer. Get out of here. <laughs> sure, I'll take a knot of autumn. Get rid of that drown secrets. Alrighty. Well, this looks like one of those games where we're just going to literally try to smash them in the face. Because we, we don't have a whole lot of time left. We have 16 cards left in our deck. So. And we can safely assume they have plenty of more cards to mill us with. Um, so yeah. You know, it is what it is. Any day now, superhero. Any day. Any day, all day. Cavalier of Gales. Alright, so they should... Okay. They should have set themselves up pretty nicely here. They get in another charge out of the Ashiok. They drew into whatever other card they had in their hand, right? These these are still their revealed cards to them. There goes our Tristani, which again would have been nice. <clears throat> Half of those cards would have been nice. I guess in this game it's a little bit different. But we had okay. We had some super good spacing of our bomb drops, right? We had some that were back to Back to back in combo style, we had some. Ooh, what do I do here? I don't. I definitely don't ult the Nisa. <laughs> That's a big no-no. Do I even worry about going for the Tulsimir though, or do I just take my units as is, swing at their face? Sure, we're gonna lose a Night Pack ambusher, but at the end of the turn, we're gonna create another wolf anyways. Five five um, gets blocked by one one. 2-1 gets blocked by 2-2 two, two, probably, 3-3 three, three gets blocked by 0-4, 3-3-0-4, I don't know, I really don't know here. 1-2-4-6. Pay for six. Get rid of that. Well, that's something that happened. <laughs> Let's hope we can hit a creature here. I just want my other Tulsimir. Do I even have another copy, or have they... That's fine. Have they just absolutely ridded me of all of my Tulsimir? I actually think we just lose here. This is our best solution, and even still, it's not a fantastic one. Ten cards. Oh my goodness. We don't have enough for this. I don't have the kind of steel nerves that I need for this, right? We're, we are so close. Drown secrets. Oh no. <clears throat> and a spark double. On to Ashiok, right? It's got to be the Ashiok. Alrighty, well, that's going to be a GG in a game two here up against Superhero playing a super annoying deck. And I got to say, if anything, seem more like you were a super villain there. I don't know any superheroes that would be playing a mill deck, except for maybe Deadpool, but he's like an anti hero, right? But only because he's an asshole. 
Anyways, we're going to move on to a game three and hopefully break up this little tiebreaker with a victory. Alrighty, here we are up against Stay Rad Forever. Stay awesome, bro. Stay awesome. Whoa. Whoa, game. What you trying to do here? You don't ever give me two copies of Nisa and five mana in my starter hand and tell me not to keep it. I'm 100% keeping it. So, yeah, hopefully we draw into some stuff. A Boreal Grazer, that's, <clears throat> that is actually quite, quite a draw, right? That's a turn, what, three, Nisa? We go one, that's three, four, yeah, five, yeah, turn three, Nisa. Holy schmoly. That's a fast Nisa. We are up against Esper, though, so, you know, does she land? Do both of our nieces get countered? I guess we'll see. Although, I, I gotta be completely honest, every time I see Esper, I'm like, well, it doesn't really, yeah. Doesn't really fucking matter. Because either they will A, take it from your hand, B, take it from the field, or C, remove it from your goddamn graveyard so you, you couldn't even get it back if you dreamt of it a million years long. Right? That's that's the that's the fun part about these Esper decks, really, is how much hope they actually give me. So that's what I think about your face. I'm gonna hit you in the face with my Boreal Grazer because we know they're not playing any units that have haste. We know they're not playing well, probably any any units for the large majority. Hey, stay right forever. That's fantastic. Go fuck yourself, you Esper piece of shit. Fantastic. Feels so good, actually. I don't think I've had an Esper person auto quit on me in a long time, but it felt great. It felt really, really awesome. Um, also, excuse all the shit talk, okay? I like to shit talk. Y'all have to understand that. I mean, no offense whenever I do shit talk. Um, also, we're we're gonna call that for the video because we just won uh, um, two of our games, which is fantastic. But yeah, um, if if I say go fuck yourself to the opponent, if I tell them to go kill themselves, or if I tell them whatever, you know, two things. One, I'm not saying it to their faces. I would never tell that to some random pers person's face. Like, hey, go kill yourself. That's really rude and really, like, put puts a whole negative aspect on their life, right? Two, if I tell someone to go fuck themselves, that should be very, very clear trash talk. So... Um, just two things to get across. I, I hate whenever people are like, yo, are you all right? And yeah, I'm fine. Trust me. But like, don't, don't y'all get excited when you beat your most hated deck when you, you're up against Merfolk and they're, they just constantly hit you in the face all game long and you finally get the board wiped down and you're like, ha ha, motherfucker. Now I win. <clears throat> similar, uh, similar feeling. I just like to, I, I guess express myself very vulgarly no it's not vulgar it's just i don't know nonetheless that's gonna do it for today's video i hope you all <laughs> enjoyed um until next time which is either you know later tonight or tomorrow as always peace <laughs>